It's the most wonderful time of the week. Yeah. It's patch day, everyone. This patch dropped at 3 a.m. Australia time, so I'm up at 5.30 a.m. to report on the latest. Oh, this is just not working today. I washed my hair last night to look so cute, and it's just oily. I feel like low-key. Whatever. Just gonna put this on. Last week I asked in a video what major issues you guys had in your game and I've gone through almost all of the comments <laughs> and listed the major ones. So the major ones were the inappropriate relationships uh, since high school, for example, family members or inappropriate age differences such as Santa Claus and a teenager. Strangers walking into the house constantly, uh, Sims not getting over fears, uh, the Groundhog Day bug, aka the game not saving even though you were saving, that was probably the biggest one. Too many BFF requests, that's one I've had. Sims leaving work glitch, which causes no progress, seems to be a really big one. And the age bug, so either Sims not aging up when they blow out birthday candles or order aging up when traveling. And then there was one other one that I thought was really bad. The needs panel being out of sync or not changing color and then people's Sims dying of like starvation. Uh, that's, that's not great. Some smaller ones were gardening, plants disappearing. That's been a bug in the game for years. I would love a fix for that too. High school years, aspirations not working. Faraway sinks. I feel like faraway sinks has also been a bug forever. I, it never made me that angry to be honest, but perhaps mine hasn't been as bad as other people's. And this one's a crazy one, which I didn't realize. Washers and dryers aren't working with laundry day. A lot of people said that wasn't working. Neighborhood stories are too fast paced. That's not really a bug, more of feedback, which I would agree with. They need to tune that back. Uh, and then no retirement options for elders, which is all too real. Can we please not be that realistic? <laughs> and the packs that are the most bugged for you guys to know about is dine out, my wedding stories, and unfortunately, laundry day. But I'm gonna test that out. I would probably recommend if you're looking or enticed by the gameplay in either dine out or my wedding stories, I wouldn't buy those packs, only get them if you're interested in the items or if you're okay with buggy gameplay. So the patch has been released today. And we actually got updated via a new source, which is a new Twitter page for The Sims called The Sims Direct. And this gives you live updates for things like patches. So they announced that a patch would be released today. It would focus on the Groundhog Day and aging bugs, which is fantastic. They also reminded you to remove any mods in CC before the update. Always save your game as well, just in case. I personally really like the idea they've got a new Twitter account called The Sims Direct because I feel like they needed an account that wasn't related to a guru or a person that's kind of the robot account that purely is there for quick updates because myself, I was always getting confused of where, where are the patch notes and like what is going on? And now there's just an easy place you can go to to know when things drop. And they also seem to be more communicative already, which is great because that was one thing I was saying I think they needed to be. Because I guess there's a fine line between not being able to fully announce like, yes, this will be fixed on this day because at the end of the day, it's programming. It can take a long time to fix a bug. <laughs> but it's good. They've already said we're still investigating cases of the aging bug with toddlers, but we appreciate your patience as we continue to working towards the solution. Really good to know that they are working on it as opposed to not hearing anything and people being like, but what about the toddlers? Well done. Snaps for Sims Direct. Uh, and they've also said with this fix, if you're still having any issues with saving, please report it to the following threads and they have direct links as well. So love that too. Anyway, let's actually look at today's fixes. Okay, so the Sims base game, children, teens, young adults, and adult Sims who blow out the candles on their cake should now age up reliably. Yay, happy birthday. We are investigating the problem for toddlers. Oh, we are still investigating. Okay, so that's a big fix. However, I did see a lot of people were having an issue of their Sims auto aging up when traveling. 
that was the other issue. I do wonder if that is due to having mods or CC in your game. And this can also mean having them still in your files. So you need to remove them out of your files as well to check if it isn't the reason for a bug, but that may still be an issue. So let me know in the comments down below if it is after this update and after you've removed your mods and CC. High school years feel like you're going backwards in time after visiting the thrift shop. So this is the groundhog issue. It turns out that some mods were some mods were preventing the game from saving. We've made the store more accommodating to external content. We have seen some of you who do not play with mods reporting this problem. If you continue to encounter this issue, please let us know. Okay, so it sounds like it was mainly for players with mods, but some people without the mods. Yeah, interesting to know if it's also without the mod, but let me know if that's fixed, because that was probably the biggest one fixed. Yay, hopefully. <laughs> Eco lifestyle freelance crafters now send fabricated items via scent to client for approval. Okay, they finish that career task. That's good because that would be annoying. Seasons, Sims are trying to get indoors during a blizzard. Now walk appropriately, stay warm. <laughs> Don't know what that one was, but that's good. And then get famous, DJ and mixologists no longer leave their booth unattended when a celebrity attempts to build up fame through perform scene for tips or dance battles. As I say, starve your distractions, feed your focus. <laughs> I'm not really sure about that bug either, but that's good, that's fixed. I mean, the aging and the groundhog day did seem to be the worst problems. However, the inappropriate relationships is pretty bad and I am surprised there's no mention of that being fixed. So I'm really curious to see if anyone is still experiencing it. I have no doubt they must be working like crazy on fixing it if it hasn't been because it's just a really bad look. But I'm a little confused why they're not mentioning they're working on it. Maybe because it is such a bad issue. Maybe some transparency would be good on that. If it has been fixed or it's still being worked on, let me know if you guys are still having that issue. Um, the other thing is perhaps it is only related to mods or CC. So let me know that as well. Uh, too many BFF requests. I hope they just tune that back. I feel like that would be a tuning thing, not a fixing thing, but what do I know? And then the Sims leaving work causing no progress is a pretty big one. So I feel like that's not fixed either. And the needs panel of problems is really weird as well. So in saying that, I forgot to ask you guys when you commented last time, if you have mods in CC that could be causing the problem. So in today's video, let me know in the comments down below if after you've updated and if you don't have CC and mods in your game, if you're still having any of these issues. And like I said, I will refine my list and take it to the Sims and just say, hey, a lot of my viewers are still having these core issues. So I thought I'd pass it on to you uh, to help. And hopefully, fingers crossed, that will progress them a little bit. So I do want to just quickly check up on the laundry day issue because um, I would like to know if my washers and dryers are working because I will be devastated if they're not working. Devastated because laundry day is my hero. Okay, some of you guys might not know this, but I really like that pack, right? <sighs> Yeah, I'm just gonna go to a random family here in Newcrest and we'll see if we can do the washing. And I've removed my mods in CC. Oh, awesome. They actually happen to have a washer and dryer in this house, did not know that, but that's great. All right, Glenn Tucker, let's get you to change your outfit. Looking fabulous today. Okay, do laundry, add to washing machine, let's go. Okay, putting it in the washing machine. Let's wash that laundry. All right, it's turning it on doing his uh, little thing. And that seems to be working so far so good. We also have a washing line over here, which is good to know. Uh, let's also do another load. Oh no, is it gonna go in there? Oh, it did, good, good. Okay, now let's watch the laundry. <laughs> the writing appears to have faded away, what? What? I don't know if anyone's been watching The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, but what? You'll only know it if you've seen it. Whoa, I never realized how detailed this cycle is. Like. It is so detailed. You see the water going in, then you actually see it being spun. All right, let's unload and move laundry to the dryer and see if this works. All right, that's going out in there. Well, so far so good. My laundry seems to be working. I mean, I'll, I'll complete it all to make sure 
And then let's add this to the washing machine so we can then try the outdoor line to wash laundry. Also, may uh, maybe people aren't clicking on wash laundry. Nah, I feel like you guys would try it out for sure. I mean, look at the detail of this. Watch, watch, suds. See the suds? See this? See the rinse? And then see the, the tumble. What? That's crazy. How did I... Why did I never get excited about this? Okay, unload and put laundry away. Let's see, can you complete the cycle? Ah, look at that. Okay, and then let's hang this on the clothesline. Maybe it's the clothesline that wasn't working. Me walking outside. Well, that seems to be all working fine. And then it's just gonna dry for a while. I love how they're just hanging out watching the laundry dry. What a, what a wholesome family. <laughs> Also, I was just thinking, oh no, it's got a bad rap. That's a shame. Oh, it's dry. Okay, unload and put away. Yeah, okay, that, uh, that's all working. Okay, well, my laundry day is working quite well. The only thing I didn't test is the little washing bu bucket, which I never use, but it seems to be okay and work in, in working order. I was just thinking for anyone who has the need bar problem not working, I wouldn't be surprised if that is to do with the UI mod, but I could be completely wrong. It could be within the game. Another thing is if you're having issues with not being able to complete aspirations, because I've definitely had that issue and it is really frustrating when it doesn't work, you can use the UI mod or UI shortcut mod to help with that if you're on a PC. If you're on console, obviously you can't, but what it means is, uh, you can actually right click to complete each step. So if it's not working, you can right click and it, it will be completed. Um, I can give you an example of doing that. Just enable my mods again, restart. Someone's come to say good morning. I need to wash this rug. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let me show you guys how this mod works and I'll link it in the description down below. Okay, so you can see down here is the aspiration. If I right click with the mod installed, it'll just tick them off the list. And then that way you can move on if there's any glitching. So that's a temporary fix if you're on PC. Um, you can also just right click and add different things like this and set your motives, all of that. Just click on your needs bars and you can make them go up or down. Um, that might also help with the need bar problem as well. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments down below what issues you've been having and if this has been able to fix those problems, um, especially the major issues we went over. And I'm really hoping it has improved a lot of your games and I will Send a list to The Sims. Let me know if you have mods or CC in your game as well, because it might be to do with that more than the actual game. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and we'll speak to you soon. Bye now.